Hey guys, it's Eddie here from Nostrum High Performance. I am here with Nag, our senior engineer and CFD specialist, and we have something very exciting to announce. Our latest brand new product line of modular KDI injectors. Now, these are to supplement the existing premium injectors. Um, we spent over two years developing them. A lot of work has gone into them. The original purpose of this was to reach a lower price point without compromising on the performance. The main goal of this video today is to A, announce it and kind of talk about what it is, and B, we really want to show you guys and explain all the engineering and development and the work that went into creating these injectors um, and why we're really proud of them. I've got two of them right here. I can show you some examples. Uh, I'll come up right close to the camera. So this is one of our existing premium line KDI injectors. This here is one of the new modular ones. Um, there are some slight differences there that I will let Nog discuss more of. Um, he's got the technical expertise to describe them. So we have actual products now. And explain to me everything that you've done and what you've had to do and all the work that's gone into engineering and designing these. What do you do with CFD? Quick overview, let's talk about this. Ooh, those, are, those are some loaded questions. I, I, I do my best to kind of parse through um, some of our uh, development processes. So as you mentioned, uh, we are very excited about uh, the brand new modular nozzles. Uh, they are going to be in addition uh, to our premium KDI line. Um, one of the biggest reasons that we kind of wanted to diversify uh, and have a different product line for the modular um, is because we realized we needed a product line with uh, which, which caters to some of the more price sensitive market. And we wanted to kind of be accommodative of uh, all of the different market needs. There is a market need for uh, the premium nozzle, which most of the aftermarket DI yes. customers <laughs> are familiar with, um, which, which have its place, right? They, they're great in applications which need uh, great injector to injector consistency, shot to shot variability, the best um, atomization, you know, it's it's basically the best of everything, right? Okay. So, it's the Ferrari of injectors. Of <laughs> they are the best. <laughs> uh, but but there's also a, a big segment of the market, uh, which is highly price sensitive. Um, in in some of the applications, customers aren't as price sensitive. So so we kind of wanted to uh, cater to uh, all of the different market segments as opposed to just one. Okay, uh, so, so what's the CFD stuff that you had to do? Yeah, so th that brings me to uh, the conceptualization of what a modular is. Uh, as the name suggests, it's it's called modular because it's basically, it has a bunch of different parts that uh, are discrete and are interchangeable, right? So uh, I think it's easiest to show it uh, on CAD. So what, what we have here is basically a section view uh, through the nozzle. Um, I think there are four distinct parts here that are that are fairly well visible at least from where I'm looking at it. Uh, so we have a pendant shaft uh, right in the middle. Uh, a pendant shaft is basically um, a fast acting needle. It's okay. actually controlling uh, the flow of fuel through the nozzle and it's actually being electromechanically actuated by the solenoid. Um, what you have here, what I guess you can see really well, is the pendle guide. Uh, the pendle guide is ensuring that uh, the pendle motion, uh, the, the lateral motion of the pendle is as limited as possible. So it's it's a high uh, uh, high precision um, guide. Yeah, basically. they're tiny. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're very very tiny. Um, what you see here is uh, the nozzle with an integrated valve seat. Uh, so the function of the valve seat is to enable um, the pendle to seat perfectly. Uh, now this is important because uh, again, it's a it's a the tolerances on some of these seats are are very very tight, mm -hmm. and the reason is it makes up um, it, it'll ensure that um, there's no fuel leaking past the seat. So that, okay. that's why it's important to have. Uh, the seat very well integrated okay. uh, into the nozzle blank. And the final part we have here is the spray plate, right? And the spray plate and the nozzle are, are basically modular. So you can have the same nozzle, but you can change the spray plate based on application. Uh, now this brings me uh, to CFD. So Nostrum has always uh, strived 
First, if you don't know, CFD stands for uh, computational fluid, fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics. Um, That's what this stuff looks like. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so, so basically, uh, at, at Nostrum, we've always um, strived to be a science-based uh, solutions provider. We're uh, all of us are mechanical engineers here, pretty much, and we we work very very hard to uh, maintain a degree of a scientific integrity in all of our product lines. Um, so. Uh, all of the spray plates that we make uh, for these different injectors are application specific, which means uh, we generate our own 3D models uh, in CAD. Uh, we import them into the fluid dynamics environment. And within the fluid dynamics environment, we are basically studying the entirety of um, the engine and airflow, fuel spray and combustion performance. Uh, so we're looking at things like airflow velocities, we're looking at valve timings, we're looking at um, injection uh, rate shapes, uh, spray plume targeting, uh, liner wetting, so on and so forth. But basically, we're, we're trying to look at each and every factor that is important to combustion yes. um, and make sure that the nozzles that we make for that application are optimized for that particular combustion, combustion geometry. Um, so when I say the spray plates are interchangeable, it's because all applications require different um, spray targets depending on the, the shape of the cylinder head, mm -hmm. the shape of the piston, injector position, injector angle, so on and so forth. So like there's a different one for the VR platform, there's a different one for the Subaru. Right, yeah. uh, basically every engine, every DI engine platform that we cater to have their specific spray I targets. See, yeah. um, and basically the modular um, helps us uh, bring a dig, uh, bring a uh, different degree of freedom in because now we're able to keep the nozzle seat the same while changing spray plates depending on the application. Okay. So it has cut down a lot in terms of cycle time, in mm -hmm. terms of manufacturing time, in terms of speed to the market even, mm -hmm. which reflects in its cost. We've we've been able to uh, uh, minimize uh, uh, the cost uh, significantly. And but that's not the most interesting part. The most interesting part has been we have, we've been successful in reducing cost without um, affecting its performance. Okay, um, yeah. And I think that's that's where uh, the engineer in me is very excited because <laughs> I'm I'm always very interested in seeing how can I maximize performance, how can I make this product better, and uh, yeah, we're very proud to say it's uh, we uh, one of, one of the parameters that we look at for nozzle design is called liquid jet velocity um, and that is important because it affects primary breakup atomization um, and mixing basically um, and we, we were able to get our um, jet velocities which is actually what we're looking at here I've uh, kind of plotted the jet velocities exiting uh, the orifices uh, to within um, nine percent actually uh, of where the premium is. So if you think about it, this is this is a nozzle which will perform uh, very close to uh, the premium without any of its price really, right? So um, it's a slightly lower flow rate nozzle mm -hmm. with slightly lower um, exit exit velocities, but like much less uh, in terms of price, which is which is actually what we set out to do. Um, in terms of both price and performance, so we, so yeah, we we were very excited about um, uh, this new product. It, it wasn't easy, but I'm glad we did it. Okay, yeah. So kind of to summarize, then you did all the CFD work, we did all of this development, manufacturing, testing, and the end verdict is the performance of the modular injectors KDI is very very close to the premium. Yeah for a much more friendly price point. We're gonna yep. do it for several different applications. Yep. Um, they are coming at SEMA. We will be at SEMA yeah, this year. I, 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 think, um, I, I think people will be very excited about this mm -hmm. because it's, it's, now, it's now within the grasp of the average consumer, not just people doing uh, crazy not, high horsepower high Yeah, not bills. just like a bigger build, big yeah. engine, engine performance shop or anything, but even retail customers. I okay. feel like if, if I, well, a retail customer, I think I would have every reason to be excited about buying a set of these and putting mm -hmm. them in my car. And 
um, you know, a fraction of the cost, yeah. essentially. And I think the coolest thing about all of this, at least when I joined, I was really impressed. Like, look at the CFD, like that type of stuff. Well, A, it looks really awesome, but there's some serious science and engineering behind yeah. that. We've done a ton of development. You mentioned all these numbers, jet velocity, I mean, dead volume has been 9% of the premium yep. injectors. All these um, benchmarks and then the kind of the things that we compare with Correct. Uh, has been probably done of CFD. Mm -hmm. I find this fascinating, so I'm planning on doing more videos of Nam, kind of talking about the engineering behind our products, how we develop them. You can learn about, I mean, we don't just kind of make stuff up. This is actual engineering. <laughs> no, yeah, this, is, this has been a completely new project uh, completely new nozzle design like ground up right because mm -hmm. um, like I said we, we had to design everything from the pintle guide uh, to the pintle seat uh, to a different nozzle blank uh, which would uh, eventually uh, we, we had to make a whole bunch of different spray plates uh, different angles different orifice sizes so yeah. on and so forth so yeah. it, it has been a very interesting challenge but I'm glad to say we uh, we are very happy with the results so there it is we will have several modular KDI injectors available at SEMA this year stay tuned on our social media check out our website nostrumshop.com if you're coming to see it uh, SEMA definitely come see us at our booth we have a lot of cool products there some cool cars and yeah, if you guys have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out via email, info at nostromshop.com, follow us on social media, and we look forward to seeing you guys next video. Thank you.